Welcome back, Prime Minister. Please, uh, call me Tony. You've kindly agreed to take some questions from some of our viewers. Uh, let's go to Jacob from Brisbane. I'm worried about the future of our planet. So why did you stop taxing carbon when the scientists say that carbon is bad for the environment? Uh, well, thank you, Jacob, or uh, should I say uh, President Obama. <laughs> uh, look, let me start by saying that uh, science is like a newspaper. Uh, you can't believe everything you read. So what is the basis of your climate change policy? Well, we engaged in a range of views, including those who question the very premise of climate change. So you've engaged climate sceptics, uh, international think tanks? Absolutely, Tony. Our government uh, climate change policy came straight out of the world's biggest sceptic tanks. Let's uh, go to Catherine from Melbourne. Mr Abbott, how would you describe your government's relationship with China? Well, as you may know, uh, Kristen, uh, we recently signed a very important uh, free trade agreement with China. I think it's safe to say uh, China is Australia's best friend. But Prime Minister, haven't you already stated publicly that Japan is Australia's best friend? Well, Japan is our other best friend. How can that be? Well, you, you can have more uh, than one best friend, Tony, uh, and Japan and China are, are very similar in many respects. In, in what way are they similar? Well, they're, they're both our best friend. And what about the US? Well, clearly, Tony, the US is our bestest friend. In the complex world of international relations, uh, what does that actually mean? It means exactly what it means, Tony. OK, so let's uh, hear from Julia from Adelaide. Tony, normal people like me are sick of hearing about all the corrupt politicians. Why should we trust you? Uh, well, it's uh, nice to know uh, there's a Julia from Adelaide who's uh, concerned with corruption in politics. <laughs> Why should you trust me? Uh, because unlike the Labor Party, uh, who are slaves to the unions, uh, my party doesn't listen to anyone at all. Indeed. Uh, up next, we have Margaret. Tony, I'm a teacher in a public school. What is your government doing to help all our public schools compete with rich private schools? Uh, well, Margaret, I, I think you've answered your own question uh, by uh, helping the public schools compete. We're letting them compete uh, only by uh, taking away government handouts, levelling the playing field. Uh, will public schools learn to compete? All right, we have time for one more question. Uh, let's hear from Georgina. Uh, hello, Prime Minister. Um, a few months ago, I was diagnosed with a terminal illness and <clears throat> I've got six months to live. I'm in the public health care system and I haven't started my treatment yet, which makes me ineligible to receive the disability support pension. I went to Centrelink and they told me to apply for the dole, which means in order to receive any of the payments, I have to go to an employment agency and go to job interviews. But this is wrong because I'm dying. Prime Minister, what will your government do to fix this? Uh, can we get a bloke's question? <laughs> 